Hello, I'm Frances Fox, and I am um, a psychic investigator, a shaman, and I use remote viewing to find the root cause of what's going on. And today we're going to look at the photograph of a client and find out um, what's going on with her. She has issues of electrohypersensitivity, which means she has already been diagnosed as having a sensitivity to radiation, Wi-Fi, computers, baby monitors, cell phones, etc. And I tried not to pay any attention to what she shared with me because I want to be able to look at this photograph of her and see the bad things that I see and see if they match or if they can give her a cause for what it is that she is feeling. Uh, where is it? We're missing the microphone. Um, excuse me. Okay, so the first thing that I can say is that I have asked all of you that follow me regularly and told all of you that the biggest issue that can make you sick emotionally, physically, and spiritually is black magic. And she has black magic. She has an ancestral uh, curse. They talk about them even in the Bible. And I don't think she knows about it or she probably would have taken care of it. So that is like being born in a black hole. That makes you weak. It's easier to get sick. It's easier to get mentally ill. It's, and you are like the epitome of bad luck. Nothing works out well. You have to work 10 times harder than everybody else to get exactly the same thing. And most of the time, you don't get the same thing. You get less. Okay. I also see that when she was up to 14 years of age, this is my remote viewing, she lived under high tension wires. This is the energy of, of electricity coming from high tension wires. The human etheric body, which is our immune system, which is shaped just like the physical, is formed between conception and age seven. So when she was conceived plus until age seven, she lived directly under high tension wires and a lot of them. It almost feels like she might have lived in a downtown area, a very congested area, a very industrialized area. And that basically is what broke her in terms of the health of her physical body. Um, she has led a very frustrating life. Remember that radiation, the elect electrical and the Wi-Fi and the computer and the baby monitors and the sonograms all radiate the element of fire. So she would have been already full of fire. In other words, I can paint all of this red, and that is still her today, even though maybe since age 14 she doesn't live there. That hasn't been cleaned up. But because of the frustration of the having been born, the epitome of bad luck, together with the fire and the frustration would be fire, the element of fire, plus together with the fire of those high tension wires, her organs that have to deal with fire, which are the liver, which is on this side, um, is not doing so great. Um, it actually has that miasm that I talk about, which is a congestion of negative emotions and spirits and thoughts, her, her, her liver has miasm like dripping from it. Uh, those are emotions and those can be taken care of with a mantra, okay? In other words, to her, the first thing I recommend is she take care of and have somebody clear this black magic. And then she can do a mantra having to do with the frustration of having been so frustrated for so many years, which would be, please God help me with my intention to heal my frustrations. And that would um, take care of, somebody's working and I can hear it, that would take care of the fire due to a frustrating life, which by the way, is what I've told every single one of you to do. You need to take care of your frustrations, which today in all of us is maxed out. And you don't wanna be frustrated. At the same time, you're overusing your cell phone and everything that's Wi-Fi. Okay, so what I'm suggesting to her, I suggest to everybody, but she really needs it because her liver is all congested. She has an issue also with her pancreas. I don't know if she knows it already. Pancreas is the organ that has to do with 
joy in life. Sometimes when you give up or you feel like, I don't know how I'm going to get this to happen. I don't know how I'm going to make my life to where it's better. And a lot of people with radiation issues have that feeling because the medical doctors have not been able to help them and they can't get away from the radiation and still live like a normal life. Her pancreas is affected because of that feeling of, how am I going to get this taken care of? This is a good woman, by the way, who spends her time trying to help other people that have been in the same type of boat that she's in. I believe she helps people having to do with, that have been damaged their health by radiation, and she shares everything. Um, so that makes her a good person, but that doesn't take away this emotional reaction and sadness of, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take care of this for me or for the other people that I'm trying to help. So her pancreas, which is around here someplace, is kind of tight. It's the color black, like depressed about, I'm an effective person. I can't take care of this. This is depressing. And her vaso, spleen, that's the name of that organ, which is in my world, what I see is the organ of injustice. Hers is very tight because of the injustice in her life, which I don't know her personal life. But even being sick from radiation is an injustice because it's not fair that somebody did not tell all these people who are sick today, which according to the end is going to be millions upon millions of people by 2020. They weren't told. It's not fair. We would have never lived there. My parents wouldn't have had us live there if they knew we were going to be sick. So those three organs, her spleen, her pancreas and her liver are not doing well. And a lot of it has to do with an emotional reaction to the kind of life she has led because of the radiation. Now you all know, and I don't know if she knows yet, my specialty is not the physical body. The physical body is the last body to get sick. In terms of radiation, the body that gets sick first is her etheric body, which is the body that's like a webbing same shape as the physical, one block extended, because it's like a protective fence. So I may not be giving her all the details she would want about the organs, but she can have her doctor and her tests give her those details that are not my specialty and not my interest. My interest is, where did this all start? And in her case, it started with high tension wires where she lived until she was 14 years of age. The mantras will help to give her organs the relief. In addition to that, her big issue is too much fire, including the black magic because of the frustration it gives you when you have an ancestral curse. Everything that reduces fire, from watermelon to coconut, drinking lots of wire, water, tub baths with salts in it. Chinese medicine, they know that earth, which is nature with the trees, da, 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 the rocks, the mountains, water, both of them put out fire. So everything that's contact with nature, including just laying on the ground, leaning up against a tree, and everything that's like water will help to put out this fire. Everything that's very green helps to put out fire. Everything that corrects your pH, the balance of alkaline and acid, helps to put out the fire. Cannabis, marijuana, is miraculous because it puts out fire. Cancer is a disease of fire. The U.S. government has declared in their healthcare website that cannabis has already been proven to put out to heal cancer cells. It heals what's on fire. Cancer cells are on fire. Once you take off the fire, it's no longer cancerous. So the putting the cannabis oil on every inch of the skin, taking it internally, the drops, will start to reduce her fire that absolutely needs to be reduced because she's still got entirely too much of it. Okay, I hope you find this helpful. Any questions, you can contact the office. Thank you for your time.